in some way it happens suddenly, I, then there could be real risks. But I think if it were to evolve over some time in that uh, direction, I think people would have a long time uh, to prepare. There are all kinds of reasons to think Britain shouldn't crash out of the EU. I think it would be very costly for Britain. I think it would be costly for the EU. But that would not rank high on my list of systemic financial risks. And talking about Europe, the ECB have signaled that they'd be willing to start hiking interest rates by the end of 2019. Do you think that is likely to happen given some of the political headwinds and also economic headwinds we're beginning to see in Europe? I, I'd be much more surprised if interest rates were raised more than the markets expect in Europe than I would be if interest rates are raised less than the markets expect in Europe. And even more, I'd be very surprised if the ECB found itself raising rates faster than it's currently hoping to. But I wouldn't be terribly surprised if they found themselves uh, running into circumstances that caused them to raise rates slower than they were currently projecting. Hey everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.